Hey guys, it's Apple Tech, and today I'm doing a review for the City of Tweak Simplexity. Now, Simplexity really defines and redefines the multitasking and app switching on your iPhone or your iPod Touch. Now, usually when you would double tap the home button, it would bring up the recent apps that you have been to, and you can slide to the right and view more, and if you slide to the left, it brings up the lock rotation of your iPhone, the music controls, and the sounds. But now when you double tap your home button, it brings up the most recent applications at the top down all the way to the bottom. So you can see here we have Safari, Settings, and Cydia. Now if you scroll to the right, we have a nice switcher loader which is dependent on Simplexity to work because here we have our brightness toggle here we have our kill all apps which kills all our applications running in the background then we have our default phone mail safari and music applications right here a little further down we have our IP address and the IP address's name right there and then you have your basic lock rotation your default music app and the controls of back pause start and forward and at the very bottom you have your sounds which you can adjust de um, depending on which sound you would like now if we just go here you can take notice we have our applications right here but when we do the kill all apps feature all those applications will go away and now when you double tap the home button it just brings up the switcher loader so like I said before once downloaded in Cydia it will create the simplexity and the switcher loader. Now in the simplexity it's a nice basic layout here you have your enabled disabled and we have our customization the kill apps plugin and the Wi-Fi plugin. So in the customization you basically can change the color of the background, the border, the active apps and the inactive apps. So we go here in the window color you can change whatever color you want to. You can take notice it's a, it's a pinkish background in the table view color you can go ahead and change the color to whatever you want you can see the table view color does change let um, me just change this back so you guys can see the difference between the two in the uh... you also have the blur background sorry in the background then moving on to the border you can change the border color to whatever color you would like let's say you want a little bit of a grayish or whatever changes the background border just like that then you can also change it from round corners on or off I, I like round corners give a nice feel to it then you have your active apps which you can change the label color to whatever you want blue looks like we have a light blue here different stuff like that and lastly we have our inactive apps which you can change the color like that now Simplexity, like I said, is dependent on switcher loader, which brings up the brightness slider, the kilo apps, the dock icons, the Wi-Fi, uh, the airplane mode view, and you can s change these applications to different positions. So if I want the kill all apps feature first, and I double tap here, you'll notice the kill all apps is first, and the brightness toggle is a little bit lower in the uh, field here. So let's say if I want the Wi-Fi plug-in first, I can just go ahead and move it, and the Wi-Fi becomes first. So guys, that is Simplexity. Guys, Simplexity is available in the Cydia store via the Big Boss repo, and it will cost you $2.99 by Frozen Sun. And like I said before, it... Um, it's a brand new and awesome way to view your switcher and it combines Apple's UI with the ability to customize pretty much everything. It has a cool slide to quit interfaces and to show many of your apps at once and allows you to view all your switcher loader plugins easily with switcher loader. Now this only works for the iPhone and the iPod Touch and it does require iOS 5.0 or higher so make sure you do have that. Do like this video, don't forget to give it a like up, leave your comments in the comment section below and don't forget to subscribe to stay updated. Thanks guys.